Welcome back, everybody, to the Ivan Review. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Forza Horizon 4. I'm Ivan, and I am here to do the festival playlist review of the cars that you get for doing 50% and 80%. As you can see here, we've got the... For 50%, we've got the Aston Martin Vulcan AMR. We also have, for 80%, the Porsche 906 66. Um, so, we're going to go over both those cars. I'll give you guys my overall impressions. I'll give some footage of me taking it through some races and taking it through a tunnel, obviously, to hear the exhaust and stuff. But, yeah, guys, let's get to it. All right, you guys, so here it is, the Aston Vulcan AMR. Now, this is a even more track-focused edition than the original Vulcan, the 2017. Absolutely beautiful, in my opinion. That wing looks really, really good. You've got these lights that are really cool that are made up of specific LEDs. I think it looks really, really nice. Mmm. Beautiful. Alright, you guys, so we got to look at the outside of the car and get to see just some of the, the details that go into to how well, the product is when designing a beautiful car like this. Um, when an effort is given, it's really, really cool. This is the inside. You have the uh, topless steering wheel, much like an F1 car. But again, it's just beautiful. You have those really cool headlights that are like skinny as well. But let's take it out for a drive. Alright you guys, so there you have it. There's some footage of me taking the, the new Aston Martin out for a race. Um, I did upgrade everything except for the engine. I did make it all-wheel drive, put snow tires on it. Um, it ended up being a 974 S2, so a pretty high contender in the S2 class. I will say there are some downfalls to it, but I'll get to I'll do the good stuff first. The good stuff, um, I think it looks amazing. It sounds really, really good, and there are some really really good benefits to that huge wing on the back the grip when going through a corner at a pretty high rate of speed is really noticeable i'd say it's on mclaren center level of grip however 
Um, that kind of brings us to our downfall. Uh, the car's top speed uh, and acceleration out of those corners is less than impressive to me. Um, I was struggling really hard to keep high position, as you could see on some of those straighter parts. And on the snow, even with snow tires, it was losing some grip out of corners. Maybe I was just taking them a little too hard, but that's okay. Um, I do like the car, and I think I'll use it maybe in S2. Um, S2 situations where there isn't a lot of straight. I think I could see it being a really good contender for that. But yeah, guys, so that's the 17 Aston Martin AMR. All right, you guys, so for fi finishing 80% of the festival playlist on this season, you get the 1966 Porsche Carrera 906. Um, I don't know really a whole lot about this car. I do know that it's pretty, though. I really like the look of it. It looks a lot like the um, car that I reviewed before, the, the Ford that's from Ford versus Ferrari, uh, just in the sense of the front end. But I think it looks really nice, and as you can see, um, I don't think that's a false accusation in any way, shape, or form. It's got a really cool hood scoop, um, and it's just one of those cool racing style cars that I think, I think could prove to be pretty, uh, pretty cool to show off to your friends. I think um, I, I didn't love the the other one that I drove. Um, the handling is pretty pretty atrocious and the oversteer is pretty hard but let's go do a race with this one real fast i'm going to upgrade it as far as i can keeping the stock engine and then we'll take it um through a tunnel as well and i'll give you my overall impressions after that
All right, you guys, and there you have it, the Porsche Carrera 906 from 1966. Again, that's how um, that's what you, this is what you get when you do 80% of the playlist for the festival playlist. Um, my impressions are it's not very grippy and it's very, you can make it pretty powerful. Um, I you can see in the race that I was starting to slide a little bit more, and I did save myself most of the time. But hey, you know that's the name of the game. But um, not something I see myself using very often, especially in online or anything like that. But again, again something that you can show off to your friends. Um, and I think it's they're both both the cars are worth it for the festival playlist this year. I think it sounds really good. I think it looks really good. Uh, I'm not the biggest fan of the yellow lights. I actually decided, <laughs> if I'm being honest. But uh, yeah, so that's my review, guys, of the uh, new Aston Martin, the new Porsche that came with the festival playlist completion this week if you enjoyed the video please drop a like i hope you have a good rest of your day remember to stay positive and uh you know don't 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 give knowledge acknowledgement to those negative thoughts that may come into your head or the negative comments that come from other people so uh yeah see you guys